Good morning, Quasi Gang. What's up? We back here in the Bay, you feel me? Last night, I look a little bit rough right now just because, you know, last night I had to go out with the boys, you feel? Saturday for the boys. So we back. Um, hella early right now. But check out the views, my guy. Shoo! But yeah, Quasi Gang, in addition to that, I've always been wanting to make a PC for my parents because, you know, the one we had downstairs, kind of down bad, it's already old. Like, they really need an upgrade. Like, you gotta have a PC, you know, an essential for sure. Like, but yeah, so I'm gonna have like extra parts remaining. I kind of have like extra parts. So, um, yeah, you know, we're gonna make two PCs today. Yes, sir. Now we that. Now hear that? This is one of the main reasons why I wanted to replace this. Look, this is how you fix it. Oh, you gotta hit out the right spot. We replacing it today. God damn it. Yes, sir. Oh my. What's up, Quasi Gang? Today, we built a PC. Before we get into it, I'm gonna show y'all a little bit about the PC. So we can see we got a little squirt over there, kind of flipped upside down. We basically have a case here with some screws on the back. And you just slide this to get some access. Sure. So let's dive right in, shall we? So what are we gonna do today, one might ask? We're gonna piece out some of the parts over here. We got some other parts out there, show y'all later. But basically, I'm gonna give this PC case to my mom with some other parts. Gotta get my mom a new PC. It'll be nice to have. And it's Christmas coming up, so. Bangers. Oh, and this Squirtle kind of fell. Sure. So let's get building, shall we? Before we start, screwdriver, different sizes, little static wrist because actually this one time I actually burnt out my motherboard. I don't even know how, but it just died on me. So this will save you months in the long run. All right, let's get to it, shall we? All right, Squirtle's gonna spectate over here. And let's just start by flipping this over. You know what I'm saying? But actually, I think the first step should have been putting this one on. So to wear this, you know, it's a little Velcro. I kind of wear like a little bracelet, like you're going into the parties and you know I'm saying, it's gonna raid. All right, and this one, you gotta clamp it onto a metal piece so you can just find any part over here on the case and you should be good. Just maybe touch the case as well. Be static, be static yourself. All right, Quasi Gang. So I have to change the uh, camera angle because I down bad at first. Uh, let's get to it, shall we? First off, you know, you see these connectors here. Just want to like kind of pull the tab, pull them out. So right now, we're just kind of getting everything out of here. Get these ram sticks out. There's like these latches over here. You got to push down and then you can remove it. It locks it if it's up. Okay, so now we're going to remove the GPU. We're going to remove these screws that are kind of tied on to here, keeping that intact. All right, Quasi Gang. So one thing that I didn't mention is actually some of the parts that I'll be keeping for my PC. It's going to be this graphics card, you know, because this, this is the latest one, you know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, also the, also the motherboard, you know, we're going to want that. You know, underneath here, we got the CPU. It's kind of like the brains for the computer. We're going to want that. Yeah, I had like a spare motherboard, so we're going to put that piece in here. Let's remove this guy. GPU guy. So there's actually a latch here too on the side over here. Struggling. Oh, oh, she out. She out, she out. A little dusty. Damn. Pretty crypto. Damn. All right, but yeah, I'm gonna clean this pretty dusty. So as of now, since we got things cleared up, we can just unplug all these connectors on the motherboard. These pins are from the power supply. So it's what gives everything power. Sir. 
All right, we got this out. We got the Mobo pin out. We got some SATA cables here. Powers it up. Uh, got to pull that out somehow as well. And this pin over here and this pin over here. And there's these probably fan powers over here. Okay, so now that we got all of the pins that are connected onto the Mobo, can, we're going to remove the fan now and unscrew all of the screws that are holding onto the motherboard. Let's get it. <coughs> all right so we got the fan removed over here five bolts that were screwed in i think i didn't put all of them because you know i think five's chilling bro the wiggle this out without breaking it gosh i'm scared or do we have to take this pin off or it's a little bit of both it's a little bit of both wait something's still on oh we're missing a screw here oh my gosh faded oh my gosh what am i doing Okay, bing boom, fire. You can see like little words. That's how you know like which one goes to which. Things like that. Fan, gigabyte branding. Fire, it's a little dirty, but we gonna clean it. Should have set this on a, you know, like just some that won't mess it up, so. Okay, so we got some plastic film here from the chair that I recently got from Secret Lab. Check that video out. I'll link, to it. I'll link it in the description. Um, yeah, we're gonna set this on top of that and bada bing, bada boom. All right, so now we got everything out. I'm gonna clean out all of this dust. It's all a dusty. So I actually forgot to mention one thing. My bad, Quasi Gang. PSU is right here. It's actually pretty old. It's like running on its like fifth year or something like that. We're gonna remove it, you know, give, give mom a new one. You know what I'm saying? All right. I want to show you all this but this is we have to remove the back side for easy access you know what i'm saying but this is how it kind of looks like is where all the cable hides you know but look at this thing like sure look how dusty it is sure. so this is how power supply looks like a little dusty kind of 650 you know what i'm saying 80 plus gold all the power it can provide for the parts motherboard cable yeah but loki i could like clean it up and maybe give it away like if someone wants to mess with this i mean loki could die anytime but um just drop some comments you know maybe we'll work some out we'll see no wasting damn but look at all the dust look at all this Oy. no deal just a little friendly reminder to keep your PC clean. Like, look at all this dust. Like, it's been like accumulating like for years, Brody. Like, oh my gosh, this is gonna like slow down your performance. Like, we don't want that. We don't want that. Look at all this, all this shedding. Shed. Shed off. Gosh. Good thing we got the Black & Decker. Good thing we got the Black & Decker. Yes, sir. All right, Quasi Gang. So just to show y'all a little something, something, this is what I was talking about. You know, I had like actually another motherboard back then being unused. We got the i5. Yeah, we're going to put this into the white case. Okay, remember back then when I have a little footage of, I think this came in on the 8th. So we're going to unbox this real quick. What we got here? Wow. The 600 MW Bronze. Okay, from Cooler Master. We got a little graphics in the back here. Yeah, so we're going to be using this for mom's pc as i said mentioned before we're gonna replace this old guy and this is to power up the whole pc all right gangy let's get unboxing yeah this box is too hard to for me let's come out bro oh Oh, my side. K 
connector pins, lots of words. Sounds good. Ooh, very nice bubble wrap. Look at that. Wow. Oh my gosh. Look at all these cables. Cooler master. Cooler master. Lots of cables. Lots of cables. This is what happens. Try to save money. But uh, we'll, we'll make it work. Okay. Kind of clean. And power cord. Provided right, screws, that's lit. Let's go. Yangy. Y'all might be wondering, oh, but what about the storage? What about the storage, Quasi? Don't trip. We got SSD 980 from Samsung, one terabyte. Should do the trick. M.2, you already know. 3.5K. All right, let's get to it. Ooh. Oh my God, my code. Leak my code. This is it, about it. Low piece, one terabyte, smooth. So one might be thinking, Quasi, what's the graphics card? Where's it? Where's the visuals? Right here, right here. So this is actually my old graphics card. The one I used to rock. I have to upgrade because you know, on my Valor grind. Well, let's take this out, shall we? Boom. Boom. Graphics card for mom's PC. So I brought the motherboard back here because just want to tell y'all something. You know, you notice here we got the little guy processor. So you actually want a cooler for these. You can't, you, you sh yeah, you need a cooler. So what's the cooler? You already know, you already know. <laughs> All right, so we got some technical data overall, developed in Germany, their little tagline, all the specs here. Let's flip it over. What you got there? Ooh, light performance, all black design, RGB users. Ooh, pumps run smoothly, that's what I want. Let's get unboxing here. Let's take it out, take it out. So what we got here? What we got here? We got the loop FX. This looks like it's the fan or the reservoir shade thingy thingy. <clears throat> What's this inside this box? Okay, some tools. Oh, wow, they give some zip ties. That's lit, dude. Oh, thermal paste. Wow, that's fire. Already, already impressed. This is the AIO. So this is where we stick it onto the processor I was showing y'all. Some cables to power it up, 3M tape, two fans, RGB. Let's take it out the router, shall we? Wow, this is clean. Pretty got some got some nice weight to it. Very clean. All right, be quiet. Some coolant? No shot. I used to have a Corsair one, and they never gave me any of this like that the heck be quiet go crazy okay the visuals are fire let's take this out the box Ooh, heat sink so this is where we gonna want to screw in the fans and screw this onto the pc okay so now that we showcased all of the parts you remember this guy old dusty so we're actually going to remove these four screws here and basically have this plate pop it onto the new one Okay, I wanted to quickly show y'all how it looks like attached. Bada bing, bada boom. We're gonna insert it in like this. Okay, so now we got that ready. We can install the PSU. Free the locks. Shove all of this in there. And just screw it in. Okay, now it's nice and snug. We got all the four screws connected. We can now route all these cables throughout the case and kind of plan out how we kind of want them. So I thought we'd take a closer look with what these cables say, kind of like understand what they mean, things like that. I mean, you can go through the manual, but like there's like words here. So like PCIe is probably like graphics card, you know what I'm saying? Whether it's like six pin, eight pin version, you know, you don't have to like plug all of these in. There's like extras just in case. Like this one's probably like a motherboard. You could tell it's like 16 pin of SATA, like 
hard drive, you F with that. And CPU? Yes, sir? Okay, gangy, so we kind of organized the cables as you can see. Yeah, look at how much cables we like don't need. Like, so we just, we just kind of just set it aside. You know, we have a nice working fireplace. Um, uh, but later, you know, we're gonna want to like crumble it and hide it here. Yes, sir. Okay, holy, we had some technical difficulties. So basically, I had like a screw that was like stuck right here, and it was like stuck in the back as well but you know we, we took it out we, you know problem solved out here put this in shall we line it up gosh it's finally lined up okay cool 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 now we have to get these little screws in okay gangy so we got all the screws connected onto the motherboard onto the case uh we could slap these like ram sticks real quick it's really easy yep clink Clink. Remember, you gotta space them out. So we're about to install the AIO cooler, the Be Quiet. They're very nice enough to have an Intel package all in one and an AMD version. I think that's sick as F. Very well organized, totally. Backplate. So yeah. What's up, quality gang? So right now, before we get into it, we gotta remove these standoffs real quick. Backplate removed. Okay, back to installing the Be Quiet. So first off, according to Manuel, we gotta add this back backplate for the motherboard with some screws, with some rubber grommets. You know what I'm saying that's what this thing looks like. So you gotta line it up right here, like sozies. Wow, and then so screw just goes in with the rubbies. Rubbies on top. Oh, so we gotta put rubbies first and screw it in. For sure. Let's get to it. Yeah, so here we have a little package from Be Quiet with the rubbies with what we need for the Intel. So we need four of these, four of these. But yeah, let me know how y'all are liking this video. Like, shoo, I would love to see some comments, you know what I'm saying? Um, You know, let's try to get to 20 subs by the end of this year. Let's go, let's get it. Okay, so now we got all the rubbies. We can now screw them in like so. Wait, what the? Why are some of these like that? I grabbed the wrong one. So this one isn't it. This one's a fake. Good thing we checked. Holy, that would have been down bad. Okay. Line it up like so. Why in the world would these want to be flat? Wait, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let's check the manual. Hmm. Confused, bro. Whereas this one doesn't have it. Okay. Okay, guess they just want us to somehow screw it in. These go through, buddy. There is no screwing needed. Hey, we all learning out here. For sure. Yeah, they pop out. They pop out. So one thing I missed there, very crucial. See that little gap? Make sure the O-ring like goes right in there. Okay. Oh my God. Okay, things fall. But you know, when you fall down, you just get back up and let's get it. Moving on to the next step. We got these in. Now we need this metal plate piece on both sides. And since we have 11151, it says it on the motherboard here, LGA151. So they said it's three screws, shall we? It is the smallest one. How do I know? Because you line it up. Smaller hole, like so. Okay, so we got those brackets installed right here. Yes, sir. One, two. And now, let's check the man well. Now we need to mount the fans on the radiator. All right, on to fan installation. So, you have these little screws. And the fans basically just go like this. I would have to figure out how I want these sort of aligned before I screw it. Look at this. It's gonna bolt in this way. If I had it this way, it would have been vertical be quiet, which is, yeah, I don't know. Kinda like it like this way. All right, real quick. So we're going to talk about fan orientation here. Um, so I'm actually planning to mount this reservoir uh, kind of like standing like this. So like it's like on the front of the case, you know what I'm saying? So when you install the fans, you're going to want to realize like, oh, where, how, how could I like finesse this? So like it's going to like sleep in just like that. So we're going to want cables on that end. See this sticking out here? We want it like right there. Cable management. Yes, sir. Let's screw this hose in. So we're going to screw these hose in. Um... These are the little screws that they want. The long ones, the long ones, you know what I'm saying? It's like, look at that. Has to go through, you know? Get a connection. Sure, it lines up. Sure, this is winning pretty fire, holy. 
All right, so now all the screws are intact. Boom, boom, oh, I forgot one. Good looks. Boom, 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 oh, we got another. But yeah, this is ready to go. All right, so just some visualizations. This is how it's gonna look like. We're gonna put this in here. Basically gonna mount like this, you know, vibe, vibes for sure. I have to get on this side to screw it in. These are the little screws we're gonna be using. And as you can see, there's holes here. That's where the screws are going in. Little holes that we can go through here. And we just screw it in. All right, so we can recap of what I did. You know, remember there's these fan headers with these uh, pluggies. Um, kind of routed them in the holes that are here on the side for nice cable management, four corners. Gotta get them there first because you know, you don't want them like drooping around. All right, so now that we got the AIO fan installed, somewhat mounted onto the case, um, we're gonna get the motherboard. We're gonna get the motherboard and uh, we're gonna lay it right here and screw it in. And right after that, we can then install this bad boy, the AIO cooler. Okay, Quasi Gang, we got the motherboard here. Oh, oh shit. Hopefully it fits like nicely, nice and snugly. All right, moving on to the next step. We can now get back to installing. Ta-da! I'm gonna go through the manual, you know, man, manual, manual's on hard. Oh, it's like, oh, we gotta like apply the thermal paste onto the CPU and then screw it in. Yada yada, mounting the CPU, make sure there's a good enough for like two applications. Make sure don't like take a shot of it. <laughs> Here's the thermal paste. Be quiet. It's the applicator. So probably just half, you know, just half. Um, remember to remove, remove the film. Look, it's just like, please like tear this off, please. Like, like so. And then we gotta get this out. Remember, don't swallow. No swallow. I think that's good, chat. It's totally fine. And the way we want to do this, we need the screws. All right, so be quiet, it's actually built different. Uh, the screws are actually on it already. <laughs> so what we wanna do is just slap this on right here. Do it evenly. And we're done. That's about it. Okay, so moving on, we're gonna install some storage. We got the SSD 980 here. And I was low-key tripping out about whether or not where the screws were. Let me readjust this angle real quick for a little drop down view. Yeah, but this little guy here, it's a little screw. Let's take them off, feel me. What's next, you might ask? You see this pin here on this side to this side? So you want to go like that. Finger tight snap, just like that. Should do the trick. Nice and sturdy. Okay, gangy. So we're almost done with all the final parts. All we really need right now is the graphics god. Remember how we took it out? We kind of just insert it the same way. Kind of just goes like right here. Line it up and it snaps. Should snap. Oh, this is the wrong GPU. We can't be giving this one away. Oh, 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 oh. Take it out. Take it out, fool. Take it out. Oh my god. It actually wants to be in here. It said, hey, I want this one. No, you don't go here. You don't go here. Okay, now that we actually got the actual GPU that's going into this one, uh, I left a little tab here because, you know, it's like, gotta keep the, like, connections all good. Ooh. Ooh. But yeah, like what I was saying, you know, you just snap it in, like kind of like you snap it in, but like backwards. So you just line it up, push down, it snaps, you hear it. Over here on the edge, you're gonna wanna screw this in. Keep it tight, nice and tight. Okay, quasi gang, we're almost done here. Uh, got everything in place. All we need are cables, okay? So here we have PCIe, just to make it clean, you know, maybe we'll use the furthest edge one in power 
to the GPU. Perfect. Actually, I'm not really liking that. It's okay. Just gotta play around, see what works. Okay, so yeah, I kind of like also prepared these, so they're like easy access. Uh, yeah, easy access. Let's see it. Basically, we're gonna plug the motherboard one in. Just going up. Okay, so moving on to the other cables, we're just gonna plug in the CPUs. Do you say CPUs? Let's go in here. Okay, that's in. Perfect. Can't forget this guy. Moving on to the bottom here. So this blue guy here, it's actually a USB 3.0. And you can kind of just read it. That kind of tells you. Oh my gosh, it's finally in. Okay, so power up LEDs. Yeah, that kind of messed up my whole thing. Let me just power LEDs. You can read it on the like the pins. All right, gangy. So we got everything in tag everything in tag all the cables we figured it out it's a little bit messy right now but you know we can now actually plug this in and see what's up oh my god it was already on make sure it's off make sure it's off um let's shut it off real quick all right clink <gasps> wow pretty pretty lights power led on moment of truth all right gangy so we got everything all plugged in yes sir all these little mobile connections a little dirty right now but before we even like close everything up clean up tidy up you got to check the power so see if it works I don't know if the connections are all right, but it looks like the motherboard turns on. It's a good sign. And moment of truth. Oh. Oh. Wait. Is it happening? Damn, it's really quiet. Hey, quasi gang. So unfortunately, I don't think the RGB works because this we have here a three pin for the hub, but we have a a uh, four pin on the motherboard but um yeah we're gonna try to turn it on right now have it have the monitor plugged in let's see how it works wake up insanely quiet oh it's booting up i think oh my god i think it works let's get it okay gangy so we moved over to the laptop you know this is what you want to do you gotta start your windows 11 boot installation yes sir First link is go, cool. click that. Installation assistant or the media. We're gonna need this one right here. Download it. Get a USB ready. Plug it in and you're straight chilling. But shizzle, so right after that shit downloads, you know, you gotta click it, the .exe, press the yes, install. It's gonna get a few things ready. But shizzle, so now we got the terms of agreements that pops up. Just accept. Getting a few things ready. Okay, so right now they're telling us to select like, the language in addition, you know, English cool, use the recommended settings. You can just click next here. Now it says it needs to be at least eight gigabytes of a USB drive, or you can use a DVD. We're gonna use a USB. Oh, you can't find it. So yeah, you gotta get your USB. Plug that in. Boom. Refresh the device list. And it's right there. Press next and you let it download. <laughs> Your USB flash drive is ready. Let's finish. Uh. Uh -uh. All right, we got the loaded USB. Bam. So it looks like we got these AIOs. I can't work the RGB because I don't have a three pin on this motherboard, unfortunately. But, so, we're gonna start this now. Boot this thing. And just like that, we got the Windows boot up. Okay, so we got the language and the English. We got US, click next. Let's install this. And it's starting. <gasps> I do not have one. <gasps> Home. Compi. This is Compi. <gasps> Except, next, install Windows only. On a located spot. Go next. Now we wait. Oh my gosh, I just finished. It's booting up. 
Spinny, getting ready. You get ready. Man, she's taking pretty long to get ready. Holy. We gotta go. We gotta bounce. Alright, gangy. So we just removed this fan up on top and... Yikes. This is the one that was causing the hums. The hum, the bzzz. The bzzz. Upgrade to this. No bzzz. Comparison, side by side. Larger. More area. You feel? So we're gonna screw it in underneath. Rear back. All right, so right now we're going to install the smaller one and it goes to the rear and back. Kind of just like that. Pop in four screws back here and we Gucci. What's up, gangy? Working on these wires. A little cable management. This is mom's PC. We back at it. But yeah, we can then close the case and see how it goes. So this is how the back panel looks like. I plug in these screws here. Bada bing. So we still need to put the other side. So we turned on the PC. What do we hear? You hear that? Oh, that's bus. She's ready to go. And Kwanzi Gang. Now that the PC's done, you know, all the hard work, we just have to set it up downstairs. And yeah, check it out. Got Google Chrome installed in chat. It's ready. LEDs unfortunately don't work because y'all know why. Y'all know why. Yeah, we're going to tidy up. Get to it. Hey, so we just got clip done, cleaned up, done, finished with the updates for the PC. Clean room, clean room, clean room. Say hi to Winstow. Hi, Winstow. Winstow so chilling. But yeah, temporarily. Temporarily. <sighs> so we're here at the downstairs. This is the old janky PC. So it's an all-in-one touch, and it's down bad. It, it just hums and hums and like hums and hums. <clears throat> like, so we're going to replace it for the Christmas vibes. Sure, quasi gang. So the PC is finally done. Like, look at this. Clean. Mom has not gone back yet from work, but she. Look at this dumpster. You're a dumpster. What's up, Quasi Gang? So, mom's not back yet, which is perfect timing, and I tidied up and set up the PC, and you already know we already got to put a post in now. Shee! So yeah, I think that's about it, and this almost concludes this video. Y'all are having a great, wonderful break. Christmas break, New Year's, 2023, here we come. Let's go. All right, Quasi Gang, thank you for watching and joining me. Whoa, 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 TOS, TOS, TOS. Yeah, yeah, thanks for pulling up to the video. And uh, yeah, just like, subscribe, comment, you know the vibes, yes, sir. Quasi, out. Okay, Quasi gang, I just got a text from my mom telling me that she's gonna be coming home late, a little bit late, but she told me to defrost the fish, so we got the fish defrosting. But yeah, we stay tuned for a little, little reaction vid. Welcome back, mom. Did you wanna check out your Christmas gift? It's on the desk. You gave it to me? Yeah, go oh. check it out on the desk. What is it? I don't no, know. No, no, go on the desk. My phone? Maybe. Really? You gave me a phone, did I? I need to give you a big hug if you got my phone. Nothing in there. I don't see no nothing gift in my table. Your table? You nothing. My laptop? What? Your table. What about my table? The same table. What are you talking about? Oh, you, you designed me a computer? Yeah. Huh? Huh? Go huh? turn it on. Huh? Hey, hey. 
Let me, let me give you a thank you, JJ. Thank you. You don't mind, JJ, man. Because <laughs> I know you've been complaining right. about how trash it is. Look, you didn't even recognize it. Oh, no, JJ. I was Look like, what? what? Oh, You're really? drunk. Is that you design it? The power button's on the, down oh, there. So you have no to more, press it. Oh, so no more virus. Oh, my God. That's even better than my phone than my phone. Better than a phone, we'll take those. Pray to the one you're relying. I've been wandering all day. I tried to be fine, but I can't be. The noise in my mind.